Are you guys excited? I'm excited. It's my bikini prep. It's finally here. I am so excited. I am very excited to work with Kara. I'm very excited to get my bikini, AKA already have it. I have it on right now, ready to show you guys. This is gonna be such a fun journey. If you are new to this channel, I will be going through a prep. My show is on July 23rd. I'm doing about a 10 to nine week prep. It's gonna be nine weeks this Saturday. So if you are new, please hit the subscribe button and follow my journey and we're gonna have a lot of fun and I could always use some extra support and I could always use some more friends, whether it's through the internet or not. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel because the content is going to be flowing. I'm sure you'll see some happy days, some not so happy days. I think I'm traveling once during this prep, so it's gonna get it's gonna be nice, it's gonna be fun, and you guys are gonna see a lot of it. So to begin, I wanted to show you guys the color I chose for my bikini, and I didn't, I could not hide it from you guys, so I wanna show you guys that right now. Everyone thought I got pink. I didn't get pink. <laughs> I know pink is so me, I love pink. I have pink Nikes. Gosh, I have a lot of pink things. I have this pink robe. Pink is really nice but I didn't think it would look well with my skin tone and hair on stage under bright lights. So the color I chose was, I got teal, I got blue. It's so cute. I absolutely love it. It's so much fun. I think it's gorgeous. I got purple and blue crystals. Like it kind of shines like both. I don't know if you could see it. It kind of has a little bit of green in it. It's very aqua-y. It's very mermaid-like. It's exactly what I was picturing. I got it from Angel Bikinis. Um, it's gorgeous. I absolutely love it. So to see the whole thing, I'm going to put my very first kind of like posing session. I had to get some pictures to Kara of my day one photos basically. So I will put that over this. So basically, I am still working on my poses. I'm still working on what side feels better for me, whether I like to do my front pose hinged to the right or to the left. And then when it comes to the back side, I'm not sure if I want to have my legs spread apart or together. I guess that just depends on how lean my bottoms get and what looks better for my body and more balanced. Um, obviously, you could tell in this photo footage that a lot of my weight holds in my lower half, especially like my glutes area and thighs. So that's gonna be the part that I'm gonna need to lean out the most. Unfortunately, you can't spot reduce. So I'm about to get lean everywhere, but I'm really excited. So I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of my posing footage that I had to send in for Kara. I just set up my iPhone basically um, and then I could screenshot the different poses so I could send it to her. Still working on everything that has to do with posing, my transitions. I don't even have a routine down yet. Um, it's just gonna be an everyday kind of waking up. Um, I have my little setup here. I got a mirror and my cameras and a little setup and I'm just going to get up every day, put my heels on and start practicing my routine because it's never too early to start practicing because once you're in front of people and lights, people tend to forget what they're doing. I've been in performance for a long time, I did Miss Teen Illinois, which is a pageant on stage. I've danced in front of people, I've sang, I've played piano, I've done marching band, I've done a lot of stage performances, I've done choir. Um, I did, like I said, I did dance. Dance is the most similar to this, I would say, with you know, like the bright lights and the audience and then you have a routine. And I could tell you every single time you go on stage, regardless of what it is, you remember when you started and then you remember when the end and the middle is kind of blacked out. So you just gotta have muscle memory and if you don't practice, then it might go south, but I'm gonna practice, so we're gonna be all good. So I'm excited to start this journey with you guys and I will show you guys through everything that I'm doing. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Me, Mariana, and Omar just finished a little quick workout and I'm actually headed into Mariano's. I've never been in one before. I can see Omar through the window. Uh, we just worked out together and now I'm just gonna head into Mariano's. Um, Mariana, Mariana, Mariano's. Do you get that a lot, Mariana? Anyways, uh, she told me about some brown rice. It has great macros and it's in two servings per packet and it's like really convenient so I'm just gonna head into the store and grab one 
and um, maybe grab a couple other groceries, just the staples that I'm out of right now because I did just get back from vacation. I went grocery shopping last night and I got like my oatmeal, my egg whites, my English muffins, all that kind of stuff, but I need some cheeses and breads, so I might just pick it up while I'm here. I would show you guys what I picked up at the grocery store. Um, I went to Mariano's, like I said. I don't usually shop there, so I got a couple of different things. For the first thing I got were these Enlightened 70 Calorie Fudge Bars. Macros are two fat, 14 carbs, eight grams of protein. Pretty good. I was between these and the Arctic Zero Ones, but these had less carbohydrates in them. Um, I got unsweetened applesauce for baking. I got marinara sauce. Check out the macros on this marinara sauce. 40 calories per half a cup, two, two fat, five grams of carbs, two grams of protein. Pretty amazing. What else did I get? These are my favorite cheese sticks. They're 2%, so they're reduced fat, but not fat-free. The fat-free are kind of gross to me, so I just got these. These are the macros. 4.5 fat, 1 gram of carb, 5 grams of protein. Is this in focus? Is this focused? I don't know if this is focused. Okay, let's keep going. I got this quick and ready rice, whole grain rice that Mariana suggested. Um, two servings per packet, 22 grams of carbs per serving. So the whole thing is 44 grams of carbs. Not bad. Favorite bread for each slice. I believe it is zero fat, nine grams of carbs per slice, two grams of protein. Pretty good macros. And then the last thing I got were mini chocolate chips for baking. I'm going to be making this rice on the cooktop. I got some carbs for today. So I'm just going to put this on a skillet with some water, garlic, sea salt, not sea salt, just Himalayan pink salt and cook this up and eat this right now and uh, we'll see what else I make with it. Maybe some chicken. This absolutely tastes delicious. Mariana, thank you so much for the idea. I just put in Himalayan pink sea salt in the brown rice with some garlic and then I also use some, I can't believe it's not butter spray. Tastes delicious. I'm just gonna have this. I don't know what I want with it, but I'm not feeling like chicken anymore, so I'm just gonna eat this big bowl of rice and continue on with my day. So along with weightlifting, I really like golfing. So I am going to the driving range with my friend Evan. <laughs> Nice shoes. <laughs> Evan has very nice golf shoes that he just took off, but I'm making him finish hitting my balls because my finger went numb. I don't know if you guys can see that. The middle finger, it's like white. <laughs> I was gripping the club too hard. So he's finishing off in his flip flops while I watch him and judge harshly. Do better. <laughs> that was pretty beautiful, actually. It is a lot later now, and um, I realized as I was editing this vlog, because I want it up tomorrow, that I didn't record an outro for the video. So this video was just, you know, getting me started in prep. I am on the same macros that I left off on before vacation, which was about 200 carbs, 115 to 120 protein, 40-ish fat. That's what I'm hitting right now. 
The next video that I pull up, put out will be a lot more about numbers. I'm a very analytical person. I already have three charts going for myself, not including Kara, but I like to uh, I like to measure my weights every day. Um, I like to measure my measurements weekly, which will be on Saturdays for me, and then progress pictures. And I love charts and Excel spreadsheets, and that's just how I work. So that's just what I'm doing for me. Um, but the next video will be talking more about that and um, what I expect to happen and my numbers right now. So stay tuned for that. I hope you guys enjoyed this first vlog and I can't wait to take you guys along with me on this journey.